A Florida Sunday. By Sidney Lanier from Cold Norse Caves or Buccaneer Southern Seas oft come repenting tempests here to die. Bewailing old-time wrecks and robberies, they shrive to priestly pines with many a sigh, breathe salutary bombs through lank-locked hair of sick men's heads, and soon, this world outworn, sink into saintly heavens of stirless air, clean from confessional. One died, this morn, and willed the world to wise queen tranquil. She, sweet sovereign lady of all souls that bide in contemplation, tames the two bright skies like that faint agate film, far down descried, restraining suns in sudden thoughtful eyes which flashed but now. Blessed distillation rare of o'er rank brightness. Filtered waterwise through all the earths in heaven. Thou always fair, still virgin bride of air creating thought. Dreamworker, in whose dream the future's wrought. Healer of hurts, free balm for bitter wrongs. Most silent mother of all sounding songs. Thou that dissolvest hells to make thy heaven. Thou tempest's air, that keeps no tempest. Leaven. But after winds and thunders wide mischance dust brood, and better thine inheritance. Thou privacy of space, where each grave star is in his own still chamber sits afar to meditate, yet, by thy walls unpent, shines to his fellows o'er the firmament, oh, as thou lives it in all this sky and sea that likewise lovingly do live in thee, so melt my soul in thee, and thine in me, divine tranquility. Grey pelican, poised where yon broad shallows shine, knowst thou, that finny voice and all is mine in the bag below thy beak, yet thine, not less? For God, of his most gracious friendliness, hath wrought that every soul, this loving morn, into all things may be new corporate. Born, and each live whole in all. I sail with thee, thy pelican's self is mine. Yea, silver sea, in this large moment all thy fishes, ripples, bites, pale and shore greens and distant blue delights, white visionary sails, long reaches fair by moonhorn strands that film the far-off air, bright sparkle revelations, secret majesties, shells, wrecks, and wealths, are mine. Yea, orange trees, that lift your small world systems in the light, rich sets of round green heavens studded bright with globes of fruit that like still planets shine, mine is your green gold universe. Yea, mine, white slender lighthouse fainting to the eye that waits on yon keen cape point wistfully, like to some maiden spirit. Pausing pale, new winged, yet fain to sail above the serene gulf to where a bridegroom soul calls o'er the soft horizon, mine thy dole of shut undaring wings and wan desire. Mine, too, thy later hope and heavenly fire of kindling expectation. Yea, all sights, all sounds, that make this morn. Quick flights of pea-green parakeets, twixt neighbor. Trees, like missives and sweet morning inquiries from green to green, in green, live oaks round heads, busy with jays for thoughts, grays, whites and reds of pranked woodpeckers that ne'er gossip out, but alway tap at doors and gad about, robins and mocking birds that all day long athwart straight sunshine weave cross-threads of song, shuttles. Of music. Clouds of mosses gray that rain me rains of pleasant thoughts alway from a low sky of leaves. Faint yearning psalms of endless meter breathing through the palms that crowd and lean and gaze from off the shore ever for one that cometh nevermore. Palmettos ranked, with childish spear points set against no enemy. Rich cones that fret high. Roofs of temples shafted tall with pines. Green, grateful mangroves where the sand beach shines. Long lissom coast that in and outward swerves. The grace of God made manifest in curves. All riches, goods and braveries never told of earth, sun, air and heaven. Now I hold your being in my being. I am ye, and ye myself. Yea, lastly, thee, God. Whom my roads all reach, how are they run, my father, friend, beloved, dear all one. Thee in my soul, my soul in thee, I feel, self of myself. Lo, through my sense doth steal clear cognizance of all selves and qualities, of all existence that hath been or is, of all strange haps that men miscall of chance, and all the works of tireless circumstance. Each borders each, like mutual sea and shore, nor aught misfits his neighbor that's before, nor him that's after, nay, through this still air, out of the north come quarrels, and keen blare of challenge by the hot breath parties blown. Yet break they not this peace with alien tone, fray not my heart, nor fright me for my land, I hear from all wards, always understand, the great bird purpose bears me twixt her wings, and I am one with all the kinsmen things that e'er my father fathered. Oh, to me all questions solve in this tranquility. In this dark matter, once so dim, so drear, now shines upon my spirit heavenly clear. Thou, Father, without logic, tellest me how this divine denial true may be, how back quote all's in each, yet every one of all maintains his self complete in several. Tampa, Florida, 1877.